ジマシカ Yo, what's up, guys? We're at Chopped Anime, three of the almighty Chopped Anime. We're back to chop up another anime of Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 18. And it was a pretty solid, intense episode. Long story short, you have Nor Noritoshi fighting Megami, and then that fight gets interrupted、uh, by a special grade Hanami, Juzo, and Mahito. They have infiltrated the tournament. They are in the tournament. They are in the building. Hanami is wreaking havoc right now. My goodness. But Juzo is about to take on Principal Gaka. Gaku Ganji. Gaku Ganji. Gaku Ganji. And we got, we're about to see Old Man River go to work real quick. I'm interested to see how that's going to go. I wonder what he, what, what he do, sound waves or something? I don't know what this guy d o with special clans or anything like that. I can't see what his power has to do. But what do you guys think? Yeah, I, the, the guitar, I was definitely not expecting at all. Like, this dude is a straight, like, you know, heavy metal. He's got the electric guitar. He's about to shred it right now. Because <laughs> he, he even has, like, a, it seems like he even has, like, a shirt. Of some heavy metal band or something like that. He, this dude is a straight, like, old head that's into that stuff. Like, he probably has, like, his own Harley that he drives around in Japan or whatever. So, I, I mean, we'll see. He, he should be really strong, but, I mean, he is really old.、Uh, I, I, all I know is that, you know, it, it's, it's funny because、um, Gojo is straight, you know, he's still disrespecting him. Because even when they found out, they were like, let's go. He's like, oh, let's go, Principal Gaku Ganji. You know, you just had your lunch. You know, I'm pretty sure you should be good for a walk right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, there is absolutely no respect there at all, which is hilarious. Yeah, Go Gojo is hilarious with the old man jokes, man.、Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see what this guy's power is. Because, like, I did not expect him to pull out a gu guitar either. When they first revealed that scene, I literally laughed out loud because I was just like, hey, yo, what? <laughs> like, JJK with the surprises, man. But it seems like this episode, you know, we got a pretty good、uh, fight between Kamo Clan and Zenin Clan. We also get、uh, the special grades, and it's setting up for、uh, an eventful next episode. It seems like、uh, Megumi is gonna. Megumi is really like the lead of the Zenin clan. Even though the two sisters, the, well, the, the one sister is still really strong. You know, she had the heavenly pact that just gives her the hu superhuman strength, which is interesting because I, I wanted to mention this point earlier. What if Yuji has some sort of heavenly pact and we don't know about that? So, because Yuji is also really strong, but.、Um, But yeah, that, that, you know, I'm sure we'll find more about that later. But yeah, so we have the Kamo clan and the, the, the Zenin clan. So there's still a third clan missing, a third, one of the top three clans here. So, you know, who knows who's going to be part of that clan? Maybe it's maybe the principal, Gakuganji, is part of it. Or like、uh, Okotsu, the one, the, the Wonder Boy they keep mentioning. Maybe he's part of it.、Um, or maybe even Gojo. So. And we still got to find out about this third clan. Yeah, you're right. It's interesting because Noritoshi, you find out he's basically like doping bros on steroids to be as strong as he is and was still catching that work from Megami. So, like, kill yourself. Like, what <laughs> are you doing? All that just to be still taking L's by a dude with birds and frogs. Like, what <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this dude is so. He's actually very underwhelmingly not as strong as I thought he was going to be. Like, I'll be honest, Noritoshi was a disappointment for me.、Uh, he, maybe Megami is just stronger than I expected, but Noritoshi's power, 
I feel like when you got that blood stuff, that blood manipulation, a power like that, I feel like you should be dumb strong. Mm -hmm. Like, shouldn't you be able to manipulate other people's blood or something like that? Like, who could do that in another anime? Oh, right, that Avatar's not another anime. Never. Yeah, I was going to say, wasn't that some Avatar power where the one crazy lady or the waterbenders can, you know, do blood bending, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Wasn't wasn't a isn't that like a that was also an X Men thing, right? Like it wasn't Magneto as the strongest could control the iron in the blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like blood should definitely be, and it's like apparently it's like the the passed down chosen power of the combo clan. He's just he sucked, bro. He on steroids <laughs> and he's still catching L's. So, I, I, the the all I know is one thing: global warming, dude over here. This dude's about to tear them up if they don't get help quick. Help needs to be on the way. They need to call the National Guard. They need to call the Army. <laughs> this guy is not playing games. He's breaking buildings for his Earth. His planet is under under terrorists, under, <laughs> under uh, attack by terrorists, which he thinks are humans. Every, you know, you haven't noticed that's like a running theme in shows nowadays. They think humans are the disease and all that stuff. And mm -hmm. those guys always have a plan to take over the planet. Thanos was like that. Yeah. This dude is trying to kill people immediately he said turn into sage and die he is not playing with them right now bro global warming uh cursed energy over here is strong and he means business that's all i gotta say hey i just want to quickly go back to uh the different clans and their technique it seemed like the zanning's clan's technique is the 10 shadow technique where they can summon the different animals based on the shadows or however however that works and the guy from the Kamo clan was saying that it would have been better if Mai or Maki would have gotten that because they're I guess the main branch of the clan compared to uh, Fushiguro who has pretty much denounced the clan and doesn't want any part of it and like Hosea mentioned earlier you know the Kamo clan has the blood manipulation techniques so I guess I, I will say this though I did, I was kind of thrown off by uh, Noritoshi's strength because he was like a range you know uh, like a archer pretty much I don't think he had some of the you know the hands that he could throw but he was he was kind of hitting Fushiguro with them he broke the little steroids you're right he's, you're he's, right we <laughs> forgot I forgot he's dope and still too. lost <laughs> he's still lost. But no, that that's a good point though about the uh that was actually mentioned in the fight how they were similar because they were blessed with the the clan's special power, but they were both like underlings and unwanted people of their clans. Yeah. He was basically a bastard, uh, made from uh his mom was a concubine. And I guess Fushigiro was just under made not from a royal type of family or uh, uh, maybe a lower level family inside of the clan so that's kind of the similarity between them so yeah also he he he's i guess he used his own blood a little bit but he just had like blood bags like on him like they it, they, it wasn't like in a special it was just like hospital blood bags that he would just throw out and <laughs> so that, i mean that was kind of funny i mean hopefully you know if he does get stronger he starts using his own blood but i guess that might be dangerous too yeah, that dude was kind of funny when he was just throwing out blood like that. So I thought that was funny too, yo. I was like, why is he like a phlebotomist? What is he doing? <laughs> oh boy. So what do you guys think about the uh Juzo's thing, his uh veil. Veil that the thing I didn't get was I don't get how he got tricked by Gato, it had to be Gato who tricked him into making the veil to keep specifically out Gojo. If you're making the veil, how can you be tricked into making a veil that's not the veil you thought it was going to be? I think, I think, so, I think Gojo can't cross the veil. So he, he was tricked into thinking Gojo was inside. So the veil, oh. so he can't run away or something, but. Yeah. I mean, Gato, I mean, Gato knows what's up, like. <laughs> no matter who is there like no matter what level of advantage they have they need to get they need something specifically just to get gojo keep gojo out anyone else can come in they can bring the whole army every single jujitsu sorcerer can show 
As long as Gato remains out, then we can do no something. Joke. That's wild. Yeah, you know what I thought was funny, though? If you really pay attention to that part where Gojo found out that he couldn't go into the veil, he was like, he loves the fact that he's that guy. Like, he's <laughs> like, oh, I get what's going on here. On, <laughs> like, he's like, yeah, I get it. They, they don't want me in here. You guys got to take care of this one, guys. So, unfortunately, we will not get any more Gojo action in this fight. I don't see it happening. It's just, it's just not going to happen. But, uh, you know, luckily we have the principal and the uh, chick. I, I don't actually know the chick name, actually. And Yuji and Toto. I Because the, the Toge. chick name, what? Oh, oh Toto? Yeah, yeah. Toto's oh, the other still guys in there. Too? Yuji's in there. Yeah, yeah. They're in the, they're in the force oh, or whatever. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, wait. Global Woman might be in trouble. Yeah, because the, the, the chick is only, uh, what, semi-first grade or something? Clearly, but Gojo, I mean, uh, Toto and Yuji are like at the first grade, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I would think they would be. Sorry, Yuji is in first grade yet. He's strength wise, he is first grade. I, I get what you're saying. I'm just saying semantics, whatever. Yeah, he's first grade, trust me. He's first grade like that. Yeah. Um, which is weird because pre- Principal really underestimated him if he thought that. A semi first grade that got sliced like a piece of uh, uh, old cheese and ham would would stop you. That boy, that yeah, I was like, this. So he didn't the the special grade, not the special grade. The semi first grade curse he tried to throw in there didn't even look strong. It just looked dirty and weak. <laughs> it looked diseased. I was like, this ain't about to kill nobody, man. So I think they were. Clown. I think they were also trying to show Hanami strength because like Hanami strength. Because he was the one that killed this, you know, semi-first grade, like, no problem, like you said. Just sliced him like, you know, hot knife on butter, you know, that's it, you know, cut him up. But we see that Toge, Fushiguro, and Noritoshi run into Hanami. They having some problems, big fella. They having some problems. He's saying global warming's coming for you, all right? <laughs> Al Gore is coming for you. <laughs> they weren't with with the uh, Toge's help. They weren't doing too bad, I guess. They were they're hanging on just because of Toge. Yeah, without Toge, they would probably be crushed by now. But if I'm saying Toto was gonna come, and Yuji, new improved Yuji, trained by uh, Grandmaster Toto, was gonna come. So I'm interested to see that as well. Because Toto, Toto, if he used cursed energy, we get to see him use cursed energy. You yeah. think so? Yeah, because he said he don't use that for anything but like special. Oh, you're right. Stuff. So he's dumb strong, bro. Toto's like that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next. Next episode is gonna be lit, bro. The next couple episodes is gonna be lit. So I, I'm like, this show is fire, bro. I gotta give it to it. This show is good. This is a good show. It's solid all the way through. We also found out, so, so the, the thing Fushiguro was going to show Sukuna, I guess it was that elephant. Because it was the same pose, same stance. Or oh. That elephant wasn't going to do anything. This <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I, I guess, I don't know. We still have no idea what Sukuna saw in, uh, in Fushiguro. Maybe there's something special about the Ten Shadows technique or something. I don't know. So, but yeah, that elephant was not about to blow Sakuna away at all. A stinking elephant. That elephant wasn't going to do nothing, man. But all it had was some water. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's episode 18. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. This episode was amazing, and we're looking forward to the hype that is coming next week. Global warming, Old Man River, Toge, Mega Me. No shoot to the head the phlebotomist. We will see next week what goes down. Chopped anime.